morning. Welcome back. All right, what's next? I think it's morning. It's still, mo yeah, okay. It's only like five after eleven, so it's actually getting kind of late. What we got to do today? We got to work on my pressure pot for freaking doing resin. Uh, went to use it the other day, and you flip all your clamps up on here, and you turn them down, and you tighten it down, and it holds the lid down so you can put it under pressure. Well, this clamp right here. The threads are fucked as Hogan's goat. That's all the more movement you can get out of it. So, you know, this is made out of like cheap pop metal crap. It's pretty much you know, the, the cheapest freaking cast iron that you're going to freaking get. And putting it under pressure, it has tweaked the threads internally. And you can no longer tighten it down. It's actually kind of cool when you put it under pressure, since you can't get this one fully tight. You'll see this side of the freaking pot flex and all your air pisses out of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove this thing. We're going to take a C-clamp. We're going to modify a C-clamp to fit in here so that we can go back to uh, using that. Now the first thing we got to do, these things are all held on with a little freaking Jesus clip right here. C-clamp, whatever, snap ring. Jesus clip, because every time you freaking use one, it's going to come flying off your snapper and pliers. And you say, Jesus Christ. And then you can never find the fucking thing. So, snapper and pliers. Pop that little bastard off of there. That is garbage. So now we need a C-clamp. I have this contraption. I don't know what it's for. I don't know who made it. It was in a scrap metal heap. Uh, I believe my uncle acquired it out of said scrap metal heap and uh, I ended up with it. So what we're going to do is cut one of these clamps off of this bar and utilize it because we don't need the actual foot right here we're going to cut this foot off. We're going to drill a hole to accept this pin. We might have to freaking downsize pin because this surface area, if we drill that out big enough, I'm probably not going to have enough meat left. So we're going to have to go down to a smaller hole, which ain't no big deal. Just as long as I've got something that I can apply positive pressure onto. We'll probably have to just use a bolt. No, I need to step outside with an angle grinder, cut this off this freaking rod. So I will be back in a few seconds. All right, I have liberated said C clamp. That is gonna go in there just like that, and then we can freaking tighten her down. So we have to punch a hole in there. I think we're gonna do a quarter inch grade eight bolt to hold that in place. Hole drilled. Now, I don't have any quarter inch freaking lock nuts. So we're going to tighten that down. What we're going to do. We're going to double nut it. So one nut goes on, second nut goes on, and that pretty much locks it in place. And it's not a big deal. It's not like this thing's freaking in a car freaking flying down the road or anything. I don't know where all my wrenches are. I'm going to turn this away from the camera because I'm committing a cardinal sin and I'm tightening something with a pair of pliers. Okay, you didn't see that, so... And now that'll flip up on there. We can tighten it down again. I wanted to do one more thing to this. 
Hold on a second. I gotta get uh, I gotta get my drill bit chip out, put away before I forget about it. All right, one more thing I want to do to this thing. The interior of it, the bottom, is concave. Convex, whatever. It's a disc shape down in here. So you can't take your freaking resin molds and shit and put it down in here because you're not going to get it level. So I just, I've had a board in there like that, and then I just take a little freaking... Uh, little tiny level put on there make sure that board is in there properly because the board will slide back and forth and you can get a freaking angle on your uh, your product and whatever uh, and then as it settles it freaking slopes down and you get thick on one side and thin on the other and you can ruin a blank plus it's kind of a pain in the ass when you got it up on the bench and you need to freaking lower something down in here especially when it comes to like uh, the silicone mold. Uh, when you get two hand and you're up on the bench, you can't get down in here, especially because I mean, now you put it down on the floor, but I don't like it on the floor because then you might kick it and knock the goddamn thing over. You can't grab this with one hand because you smash it to set it down in there. So I'm gonna make a lift out freaking tray that goes in here. So pretty much all we need figure out the interior dimension do that it is going to be the tape body plus however much is sticking out right there so we need to figure out how big that is we'll set this right here on this here tape measure and it looks like we're at eight and a half inches so we need a board eight and a half inches in diameter All right, that fits really freaking nice. So now we need a way to lift her out. You know what? I need that back down in there. I need to figure out a height. We're gonna go with uh, seven and a half inches. Find some scrap freaking one by material over here. There we go. Piece of shitty one by four that I use for uh, testing the biscuit cutter setup on. Cool. That's uh, 15 inches, so we need cutter right there and right there. I need a handle. Uh, I know I've got some freaking long dowel rods somewhere in here. Damn it, man! I don't see them anywhere. So we 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 need we need another plan. All right. This is supposed to be a picture frame. I think I'm gonna just steal one of these pieces right here and we'll turn it into oh christ it's got magnets and everything no i better not use that that might come in handy i didn't know it had magnets in it it's got magnets in it that... here we go we'll just use another piece of crappy one by four material so all we're gonna do These, I think, are too big. I should really...
it ain't fancy, but it will work. That can go on there. I can get probably, I can probably get a full set of freaking dice molds all the way along here. When it's a matter of freaking pick it up. That in we go. Lid on. Shit, yeah. That works. Easier to get the stuff in and out. And then I don't have to piss around with this board and a little level in there and hoping I don't freaking bump it or anything because this thing, it's just going to sit flush in the bottom right there. All right. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, subscribe. Hit that like button. We'll see you next time, guys.